We partying or what? Oh, f yeah, we're partying. Hell yeah, I like that. F yeah, we're partying, yeah. yeah. We're in Maine. We're at Barnyard. We're gonna f party. <laughs> Man. Ain't no other way to do it, is that? Hey, it's a rock We're gonna do it wicked hard. Maybe eat some lobster. We we'll f get some beer. Oh, no, I'm out. But Let's go wild, baby. All right. Yeah, get it like. Let's go. in Livermore, Maine. It is Friday evening. The sun is going down. The trucks are cranking up. It's party time. about coming up here to the barnyard is you see a little bit of something for everybody right you got the mega trucks big trucks race trucks fast trucks and side by sides as well we are at the barnyard <laughs> nope. are you sure? oh my god wait what what are we looking we're, we're, we're looking for ball holes. We're looking, <laughs> we're looking for ball holes this weekend. Hey, I had to represent. Okay, Sammy like will be like, saying Pablo all That's weekend cool. long. How is it? Have you met? But Anybody? we're just getting started. Yeah. Third beer. Everybody in. cool. You can't oh, count that. They're real nice. Okay. They're, they're, they're Wait until I got 15, 20 beers in hand. Oh, no, is it real? A few blunts. <laughs> So we're back here, up kind of in the pits, on the back side of the racetrack at the barnyard, dude. And we'll drive through here to give you a shot. Do you see that? We have, my guys are partying, having a great time. Absolutely, guys. It's wicked hat. It's wicked hat. Oh, yeah, I'll sign. Give me a minute, I'll get right back. Bob Squad. Bob Squad racing, dude, all over the live show. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, nice new sticker in the back, too. Hey, sweetie, what's up? How you doing? I'm doing great. Looking good. Looking good. You gotta love this, man. There's no place like this on earth. And I mean, you can drive through the pits, but everybody's back here. They're ready to race. They're excited. They've been working on the trucks. Everybody's good, dude. These guys are ready to roll, dude. Love it. Love it. So a lot of times we on the TGW live show, you know, we do a lot of stuff, we give away tickets and all that to people who come out to events for the first time. Come on in. Bambi Lane, if that's your real name. I don't I don't buy it. I really don't. Bambi Lane, you won tickets. First time ever winning tickets? Yeah. First time ever to a truck school lot event? Yeah. First time ever to the barnyard? Yeah. It's too fake. There's no way that's all happening right here for the first time ever. <laughs> oh, it is. This must be the time of your life. It's been awesome. I hey, listen, Bambi Lane. Awesome. You know Janie Lane, lead singer of Warrant? How do you not? Listen, I'm thinking Bambi Lane, it's like the guys from Warrant, Slaughter, and Skid Row right. all got together. <laughs> and they're like, we're going to sing a song called Bambi Lane. Hey, Bambi! <laughs> Bambi! <laughs> the 
That's a little, give him a thumbs up. That's a little habit. That's a little habit. Say it. Hey, Bambi! Okay, okay. Bambi. So now that the interview's over, what's your real name? Bambi Lane. <laughs> Bambi, I, I, think, I think your name is like, I think your name is like Teresa. It's really amazing. You look like a Teresa. Over the last year and a half, two years, everybody's been talking about diseases and viruses. They've been all over the news, but I've got to know, Jason, is there a side effect to the dirty disease? Winning. Oh. A lot of people think about the barnyard, they think it's only for trucks. Well, this is the group right here. It's so much more than that. Now, I remember this. When they opened this up maybe two years ago, we came back here, and I think there were about a dozen people playing. You know, we were kind of thinking, I wonder if the people are going to figure it out and find where this is. Well, they found it, you can tell. Let's go! Thank you, dude. <laughs> Who's more nervous, like right now? <laughs> Me. You? I was gonna say. I don't think he has much fear. No, apparently not. I mean, no. not from what we've seen. He looks how, excited. How old is he? 11 years old. <laughs> wow. Dude, that's crazy. Born and raised on a racetrack. So he's been doing it all his life, riding the wheelers, the side-by-sides. Oh, here we go. Pretty badass. So how much time you got behind the wheel on that thing? That is my what fourth time? Third. Third time driving. Yeah. Third. Yeah. You get more and more comfortable every time. Yep. What are you liking the most so far out of that? Um, I like in the way it's the way it's handling. Yeah. Yep. You like taking the, the jumps? I mean, you look pretty comfortable out there doing everything. I'm just being honest. Just yeah. watching you. It's like I, I forget the fact that you know I've known you since you were like this big. Yeah. Which is crazy. So, nice job, dude. Thank you. That's cool, man. <laughs> How old are you? 11. How long have we been coming here? 10 years. So I think he was actually conceived here. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Mathematically, it's not possible, but don't blow the bit, you know? <laughs> right, right. Never let facts ruin a good story, right? That's my life lesson. So let me, let me tell you about women, all right? Let me tell you about relationships and women. <laughs>
So this weekend, big freestyle win with yeah. you and Ray and the crusty truck dude. And a good field of trucks, great track. It's gotta Huge feel crowd. good, right? Yeah, it's very good. That was a cool thing, man. You guys, like the crusty truck, I was talking to him. He had a big weekend, dude, with the, with the tri-truck, the obstacle course, and the freestyle win for Ray. Good yep. weekend for Ray. I think we're kind of like good luck charms for him. <laughs> we might be that for you, too. Yeah, apparently. But you've been talking about wanting to go down south and race with some of those guys. Yeah. You know, and what were you saying? Once you had a truck that was Once ready? Once I had a truck that was worthy to go down south and race with you guys, I'll be there. Well, I think you got it. Yeah. Right? All right, dude. So we're going to see you outside of Maine tearing it up. My ultimate goal is to challenge Twitty to a wheelie contest. Dude. Whoa. I hope I'm there to see that. Tearing it up, it was awesome. I, have I seen you do freestyle before? I don't know. Never. I don't think I Never. think so, but sometimes I forget. I love freestyle, I just haven't had time to do it. Kyle, let's talk about the build on this thing, because I know it's evolved over time, but you did not do this alone. No, me and my dad did it. It took us about a year and two months, every night, every day, nonstop for two months, you know, a year and two months. Start to finish, stripped it, painted it, got everything ready. That's cool that, and, you know, anytime that father-son stuff, yeah, we're, we're good with that. A lot of time he did all the fabrication, tin work, all that stuff. We've been working with Race Quip. Yep. They've been adding a lot of cool safety stuff to the events, awesome. awarding things out. And we've got a prize. I can award you with a fire suit or a helmet, whichever one you want. That'd and I can hook it up for Race Quip. So you just That'd let awesome. me know. Right. Appreciate that. You don't even have to tell me right now. Yeah, right, we'll talk Don't tell there. me at all. Tell Wister. Right, Wister? Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get with Wister and he'll ship it to you sometime. Sometime. You might have it within the next six months. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, brother. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Yeah. I'm a cowboy on a steel horse I ride. He's wanted. Not dead or alive. He's Kenny Bigelow, dude. Congratulations, brother. Appreciate you it. You got man. some hardware out here this weekend. Yes, sir. What's that from? We got some freestyle uh, free stuff. Freestyle and tri -truck. tri truck. And it's still running, right? Yes, sir. That's a good weekend, dude. Uh, I love to be part of this stuff. You guys are awesome. I've watched you for a long time. That's cool, man. I'm excited to be here. No, we appreciate that. What's your favorite part about, about all this? I mean, I know, like with me, it's the people. It's the people, honestly. And it sounds cliche when you say it. Because everyone's yeah. like, oh, you're just being politically correct. And it's like, no, I'm really no, not. No, honestly, some of my best friends that I've met, uh, they've got trucks. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff, snowmobile racing, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, and everything's cutthroat. Here, everybody works with everybody. If I'm yeah. broke down, guys are helping me out, and vice versa. That freestyle out here this afternoon was a blast to watch. I had a lot of fun. It looked like it. Dude. It was a good time. So what's your, uh, like, you're out there running around. Kyle's just ripping it up like a chainsaw out there, just bouncing around. Are you guys seeing each other at all? Like, do you even know where he's at, or is it like, eh, whatever? Eh, uh, whatever. Yeah. 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 If we get uncomfortably close like we did in the end, well, we just kiss each other and yeah. off. That's what dudes do. Yeah. yeah. You know? <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, we can edit that part out. <laughs> I know the interview's over, but this is something we don't see every day. One boy's got a stereo in the mega truck, dude. So what are you listening to when you're out there? Uh, bon Jovi, Wanted Dead or Alive, <laughs> man. Dude, that's great. Seriously, though, you're cranking it up. Yeah, what is it? ACDC, a little bit of everything. I nice. mean, I listen to everything, so. You got to watch it, though, because, like, you hit the wrong thing, and you're going to get a speaker in oh, your lap. That is going to be a nut check from hell. You know what you need? You need some safety gear, and we work with RaceQuip, dude, and I have the power through RaceQuip to give you right now, well, Actually, we're going to have to have Whisker ship it to you. Either a fire suit or a helmet, dude. Whatever you would like. Fire so. suit, for sure. When I 
I'm in Maine, I like to sit in a s'mores chair and have bubbles blown all over me. It's just kind of one of the things I like to do when I'm in Maine. It sounds cliche when I say that this is one of my favorite parts of the country, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. It really is. I drive around here and it's absolutely beautiful. I also mean it when I say that I don't know of anywhere in the country where we find a more fired up, more jacked up, more electric crowd than we have. On behalf of the Lovewell family and the Barnyard staff, would you guys like to do this event next year, same weekend, do it one more time? Do you guys want to? I think that's a yes. Right. My man, you drove 1,602 miles to be here this weekend. Pablo, dude, you're up here at the Barnyard in Maine. Are there any regrets? Absolutely none. This place is just as good as any other place I've ever seen. The girls are great, yes. and the environment is even better. You guys need to come here sooner or later. Put it on your bucket list. I don't care. Ten years from now, five years from now, <laughs> next year, I'll be here. I promise you, I'm not going to miss another one. This place is great. This is the 10th year anniversary of Trucks Gone Wild at the Barnyard, dude. The stage is going off. The people have been just a blast. And I think, to me, it really is the people that make this event. I don't know if you agree with that or not. I mean, you're on the security team. So, well, I don't uh, even know uh, what I'm Well, asking. all right, let's start with, hey, Tim, you might have made a mistake, brother, but I love you. <laughs> it sounds like a good idea now, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, what doesn't? Right? Everything sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Even driving 1,600 miles to a truck's gone wild event just because it's as good as anywhere else. This place is top notch and the security and the people and the environment and the way that the whole place is run is absolutely perfect. And it all started because you guys won a prize pack on TGW Live. That's the whole reason you're here, right? Am well, I wrong? No, that is 100% right. right? San Sandy won the um, tickets, the, the, yeah, the the, tickets the gift and, bag. and yeah. um, next morning, um, I was about to give him away and she looked at me and she's like, no, we are going. I looked at her and says, you know what? You amaze me, I love you. We're going. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue ever with a woman. Find one just like that, by the way. If she puts up with my <laughs> I promise you, you want a woman? The moment I learn how to clone her, I'm gonna start charging like 50 bucks a piece. That's a very good saying. point. That's a very good point. Pablo, love you, brother. Thank Sir, you, man. Good to see you up here. Thank you for having us. Dude, my pleasure. This bro. place is awesome.